I'm going to give you my top 10 home staging tips on a budget that have helped my clients maximize the sale of their home. So stick around. Hey everybody, Jennifer Heim here, a Los Angeles area based real estate agent with Rodeo Realty. And today we're going to talk about an important thing that you can do to help maximize the sale price of your home and help it sell a little bit faster, staging. So why is it important to stage? Well, about 97% of prospective buyers start their search online. They're looking at size, location, price, and how the home looks in the pictures. That's why staging and photography are so important. Uh, you want your home to stand out against the competition. More prospective buyers means more prospective offers. Now, not everybody can hire a professional stager due to the expense or the fact that they're still living in their home. In this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 tips to stage your own home on a budget to get it show ready. So these are the tips that I use to help my clients in the past where they were living in the home. Every single time we had multiple offers and the time on the market was uh, much lower than the competition. And stick around to the end because I have an insider tip of how to get ready for last minute showings. Okay, so let's get started. Overall, you want your home to feel inviting, cozy, light and bright and spacious. So keep that in mind as you go through the staging process. These tips are in the order from where to start to the finishing touches. Declutter. I know, I know, everybody hates doing that, but this is super important. A good rule of thumb is to pack up or donate about a third to a half, half of your stuff. Um, you, like for example, you wanna pack up your winter clothes when it's summertime. The things that you're not using, just pack those away. Um, your closets, drawers, and pantries should look about halfway full because you want to give the illusion that there's a lot of space, a lot of storage in the home. You want to take everything off of your countertops and that includes appliances like toaster ovens, toasters, blenders, that sort of thing. Um, and just tuck them away in the cabinets, um, take them out as you need to use them and tuck them back away. You also want to remove like any excessive furniture. You want the rooms to appear spacious and airy as much as possible. For those uh, pieces of furniture that you have that may have stains or tears, uh, remove those or find a way to cover them up. So where do you put all this stuff, right? Well, um, you can get one of those pods and then have that uh, sent away or a temporary storage unit or maybe a family member will let you um, borrow some space in the garage. Uh, worst case scenario, if you need to, uh, pack the items neatly in the garage. Even if the garage is um, really full, it's better that the garage is full versus the inside of the house. Number two, deep clean. You want to clean every nook and cranny, the baseboards, the inside and outside of the cupboards until they are spotless. You also want to get rid of any pet smells. Often they're in the furniture, so uh, clean the furniture. And if that doesn't work, uh, perhaps get a good cover or remove that furniture. Rent a pressure washer from a place like Home Depot so that you can pressure wash the outside of the house, uh, the outdoor spaces like the driveway, the walkway, and the patios. Uh, make sure that you clean the inside and outside of the windows. It's also a great idea to air, open all the windows and air out the house. Uh, this is great for before an open house as well. Now, if for some reason you're not able to air out the house, um, consider using an air purifier. That works pretty good too. Lighting. You want your home to be as light and bright as possible. So let that natural light in. Um, open up the curtains, open up the blinds. If you have a not so good view, um, kind of turn the blinds in a way that you can get as much light in, but still obscures that view. Um, the buyers can come in and peep through and take a look at the view if they want, but you don't wanna draw attention to that. Use more lighting than you think you need. Um, bring it in where possible. Bring in extra lights where possible. 
Also, you want to make sure that all of your bulbs are working and that if you have a bunch of lights together that the type of lighting is the same and the style of the bulb is the same. Number four, paint. Paint over any dark colors or very specific color choices with a light neutral color. A foolproof one is a warm white like a Swiss coffee. Painting a light bright color on places like a fireplace can also help brighten up a room. If you can only concentrate on certain areas, the entry, the kitchen, and the master bath would be the most important choices. If your budget doesn't allow you to paint an entire surface, um, touch up the uh, marks and the dingy areas. Uh, just make sure that you use the same type of paint that's already on there, like a, an eggshell or a flat or a semi-gloss. Number five, remove personal items. You want the home to be the focus, not your particular style or taste. When a buyer is coming into a prospective home, they are looking to envision their future in that home. That's easier to do in a neutral space. So remove those personal items like family pictures, children's artwork, um, just getting ready for the next house. Also like your medicine, razors, um, your collectibles, um, any uh, artwork that may be very specific or perhaps polarizing, uh, neutral is best. Number six, light, fresh towels and linens. You would be amazed what a difference having new, bright, fluffy, white or lightly colored towels and bedding uh, does to show a home. Uh, you can take them down um, after photos and in between open houses and showing. So each time they go up, they look new and fresh. Places that you can get them um, rather inexpensively are Walmart, Target, um, Home Goods. Just make sure that you know their return policy if you plan on returning them at a later date. Number seven, modern accessories and artwork. Accessories, artwork, and rugs are a great way to add pops of color to a home. I generally start with finding a neutral, uh, colorful piece of artwork that goes with the furniture that's already in the home. And then from there, I add uh, matching accessories. Not too super matchy, but they all come to they all come together. Cohesion is really important. Natural wood, metals, and black can help keep things more modern. Uh, symmetry is also important, so uh, make sure that you have that balance. Another great way to add uh, life and a pop of color is a bowl of the same kind of fruit. Um, my favorites are like a, a bowl of lemons or oranges or green apples. And you could put them in something that maybe a little warmer like this bowl. Um, there's a lot of different options. Another easy trick is to uh, take a relatively inexpensive frame and perhaps it's one of the frames that you have a picture of someone you know in there and you can switch it out with uh, something a little more colorful, a little more neutral, the pictures of flowers, more abstract things or some travel. And it actually, I'm just gonna put it over here for the example, but it, um, it looks really nice in the house as well. Another thing is this uh, whiskey bottle, which is a really cute whiskey bottle. You can put uh, bath salts in it and it's a great like little cute accessory for the bathroom. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see future content, hit that subscribe button. Number eight, plants. Plants add pops of color and life to a home. So they're a really important part of staging. Uh, the fiddle leaf, otherwise known as the fig, is very popular and one of my favorites. Some of my other favorites are the snake plant, palm, lavender, and tall grass, and succulents. Real plants are great as long as they're healthy. Uh, fake plants, good quality ones, uh, look great too, and you don't have to water them. 
here are a couple examples. I got this previously at Home Goods, and it looks great in properties, and I don't have to water it, so it's still alive. And another one that I actually picked up at Home Goods, even though I would say Walmart and Target also have uh, really great options, is this particular one. I have noticed that um, palms and snake plants are less expensive when you buy the real ones and they don't have as much maintenance as other plants. So here's a previous listing and these are the locations and prices I paid for these various plants. Number nine, uh, show them how to use the space. As you know, buyers like to imagine how they're going to live in a house and sometimes it helps to um, show them some examples of that, such as um, just setting a beautiful table so they know about that they can have great dinner parties or a bocce ball set out on the lawn so they can play activities there. Um, fresh uh, towels by the pool, on the loungers, and an outdoor sitting area, maybe even a fire pit, or even a cup of coffee and a book next to a chair that is bathed in natural light. It gives them a sense of the lifestyle they can have while they live in this home. And last but not least, number 10, curb appeal. Your buyer's first impression is super important. So make sure that your landscaping is trimmed and clear, um, your mailboxes, light fixtures, rails, all look fresh and well-maintained. Um, a pathway up to the house, maybe have a set of flowers that goes with the style of the house. Um, a potted plant with colorful flowers right next to the door is so welcoming. And last but not least, uh, don't forget to put a new colorful welcome mat. Thanks for sticking around till the end. And here's that little insider tip. Sometimes you get those last minute showings and you have dirty dishes, dirty clothes, things scattered about. Uh, get one of those uh, bins that are colored uh, with a plastic lid and then just put everything in there, um, cover it up and tuck it in your closet and put something like a innocuous label like seasonal on top. And that way they have no idea what's in there and then your house is still fresh and clean and you're able to get out in time. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. I'm more than happy to help and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a good one.